How y'all doing today? Today's video, I wanted to go over how I personally backtest the platform that I use, the things I look at while I'm backtesting, and the data that I'm trying to collect. Uh, so basically, if you don't know what backtesting is, you're just going back in time, uh, pulling the chart back to see um, how your strategy actually plays out. So you're going to take trades as if you were normally taking them in live markets, but you're using historical data and seeing if your strategy is actually profitable. All right. There's a little more to it than that, but that's the basics. So the platform that I use, tradingview.com, they have a bar replay tool up here. I believe if you have a free account, you can only backtest on a daily, weekly, and monthly chart. If you have a paid account, you can use intraday charts. I'm testing this on a five minute time frame. All right. So basically, let's say I pull this a little bit further back. So right now we're currently on well, January 27th, 2021. All right. So this tool here, once you are in replay mode, you can jump to a certain point and it will clear the data um, that's already been played out up to that point. All right. So currently right now, um, I'm on the Euro USD chart, like I said, five minute chart, and I'm testing out the Fibonacci retracement, the 618, 61.8% uh, Fibonacci retracement. And if you know anything about Fibonacci, uh, if you studied it at all, that is the golden ratio um, that they call it. And basically I'm going to be setting a limit order. So a limit order is, let's say I'm shorting, I'm going to want price to come down and then retrace up into my position. And I'm going to be setting a order at that point. So once it reaches that level, it will enter me into that trade. And then I'm going to be using a 110% hard stop loss. So we'll look at that in just a second. Um, a loose take profit. So I'm not, not actually setting a take profit. Um, like a hard take profit, I'm just going to be having a level in mind where I want it to go, but that can be slightly adjusted as long as it's above a one to one risk to reward. I'm not looking for anything less than that. All right. And my setup is going to be between 6 a.m. and 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's my time zone. I wake up, get to my charts around that time, and I'll be looking for a setup. Once I get there, right, um, I'm looking for a trade for the day to see uh, see if we can find something. All right. So basically, um, let's look at my Fibonacci. Let's pull it up quickly right here. So let's say this was our high. This was our low. This is our 61.8% retracement. And this is 110% right here. All right. So I'm going to be looking. If price, uh, so a 26 pip stop loss and a 60 pip target, let's say. All right, so let's say price was coming down like this here. We had a nice strong move like that. I'm gonna be looking for a move up into this to get entered and then looking for a target down here. Our stop loss is gonna be right there. And so this is the 100%. So if it retraces all the way back up to this level, that's 100% retracement. So then my stop loss is going to be roughly 110%, 10% more of our previous high. All right. So that's basically what we're doing. Obviously, there's other factors, you know, what tr where is it trending? Um, different things I'm going to be looking at other than just the Fibonacci. But uh, that's basically our entry signal, right? And our time zone. So this is our London Open right here, 3 a.m. New York Open right here. And this darker zone is where London and New York overlap. And then the remainder of the light gray right here is going to be the remainder of the New York session without London, after London closes. So we're going to be looking for a setup between 6 a.m. right here and 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. 
So let's just take a quick peek at this one here. So the reason I entered this trade specifically, as you can see, price was moving up. We had a nice strong move down here, right? So we had a nice strong move. We broke these lows. So I set my Fibonacci, set my limit order, waited for price to get into it, set my take profit wherever I was looking for. And I was personally looking for this consolidation area, these lows here where it actually broke out from. So that was my target area and we hit targets. All right. This one, I personally would have actually set a take profit on my platform because this is uh, what, three, four o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. So before I went to bed around here somewhere, I would have set my take profit and let it, let it play out, see what happened. All right. So this is, this is the reason why I didn't actually leave this one as a loose take profit. Had I been awake at this time, I may have let it play out further and actually let it ride for even more. But you want to actually be very consistent with your strategy and get the best results that you can get. Don't be trying to play around with it. Um, then you'll get skewed results, right? So basically, um, yeah, that was the reason why I left that one where it was. But uh, in my spreadsheet here, this is what I have. All right, first of all, yeah, we have our 61.8% retracement strategy. These are our long positions that we took. And these are our short positions that we took. So anytime I take a position, I'm writing either a one in my long or a one in my short. And then if I have a number here in my take profit, that means we actually hit our take profit. If we have a number in our stop loss area, that means we hit our stop loss. All right. So then over here, I'm calculating, do I perform better taking long positions or do I perform better taking short positions? Currently on this strategy, based on the 40 trades that I've taken, I'm doing better on my long positions. When I take a long position, 82% of the time, I win. When I take a short position, 65% of the time, I win. That means I should win more when I'm taking long positions. And this is over 40 trades so far, um, about 50-50 between shorts and longs. Um, Pips won so far, 109, or, uh, 1,009 pips. Pips lost, 103 for a total gain of 906 pips over the course of 40 trades. That's roughly one trade per day. There was the odd day where I took two trades. All right, so that's roughly 35 days, let's just say. I've made 906 pips. All right, my average win, is 35 pips, average loss, nine pips. My win percentage, so this is shorts and longs together, 73%, losses, 28%. And this is very important, your average profitability per trade. So this one here, we're basically looking at, every time I take a trade, based on this strategy, what is my average profitability? Based on these 40 trades so far, my average trade, I've banked 23 pips. All right. And that's accounting for losses. Now, this part is very important. This you definitely need to know because largest winning streak, 206 pips. That's not super important. That's just kind of interesting to know. But the largest draw drawdown, very, very important because. Let's say you got a certain account size, whatever it is, but you know that this strategy is profitable. So you know that your average stop loss is nine pips. And let's say you're trading one standard lot. You can withstand a 90 pip drawdown on one trade. However, after you run into a losing streak like this one right here, because that's what um, this drawdown happened here. I took four losses in a row. 
All right. And this is going to happen. Not every trade is going to be a winner. Um, not every trade is going to be a loser. And you may win a few in a row. You may lose a few in a row. So you got to adjust. Like this could have went on for eight trades. And then I'd be down, you know, 90 pips. Can my account withstand currently a 450 pip drawdown? If your account can't handle that, you shouldn't be trading with one standard lot. Because if you're only looking at your stop loss, $90, you probably could withstand that. But can you withstand multiple 90 pip losses in a row? If you can't, reduce your position size and trade accordingly. All right. So let's take a couple of trades and see what changes here. All right, let's go into the charts. Let's run this through. So like I said, this is the bar replay tool and we're gonna play it forward until we get into our time zone where we're actually at the charts looking for a setup. All right, so currently we're in the Asia session and getting into the London session now. So I'm gonna stop this and manually go forward so I can kind of see what's actually happening. So we're not quite 6 a.m. yet. All right, cool, we're, in, we're at 6 a.m. now. And what have we done? We've basically just ranged this entire day. Currently we are in a downtrend. We reached these lows here pushed up a bit. Um, I'm personally going to be looking for a draw on liquidity over here to get in a little bit higher up over here. Because right now there's a lot of orders being placed short. There's a lot of orders being placed long. I do think that we're going to continue down because we are currently in a downtrend. So I don't wanna be looking for longs just yet. Um, okay, so that was a nice little move there. And I'm gonna start looking for my entry now. All right, so I'm gonna need this to run down a bit. I need to break, there we go. So we actually broke that. Um, once we start pushing higher, I'll try set my entry. Yeah, let's, let's set it right now. So we've clearly made a low here. So that's gonna be our high. That's gonna be our low. All right, now, I'm gonna set my order right here. Stop loss. Let's go. Uh, let's go 12 pips. Just above that one, uh, 110 percent, and let's target these lows down here for uh, 40 pips. Mm. Go a little bit higher let's go 35 pips that's what i'm going to want to look for yeah i don't know if we're going to take out these lows we'll go for the middle of this range roughly all right so let's see if we get entered into this trade all right we're in it And we're into a new trading day now. We left this position open. And it's working out so far, almost down to our take profit. So now, I mean, I could be looking to some to actually close this position um, if I do get a signal. Like let's say it were to break this trend here, I would exit this position. But uh, at this point, there's no reason to do that. So we're gonna leave it. And well, we just hit our take profit. Cool. So that's one trade. Yeah, see right there. 
So now we're actually starting to print higher. Yeah, so I definitely would have taken my profit right here. So let's leave it at 35 pips. So first trade was a short position, 35 pip, take profit. All right. So first trade, success. Now let's continue forward. We're into the London session again. And okay, so 6 a.m. London's pushing it up higher into these highs over here, right? So obviously I'm looking at other things on the chart and determining what the best entry is. Um, should I be taking a long position? Should I be taking a short position based on the actual price action that's happening? And this is why personally, you need to go test this yourself. Don't take my results. Don't take anybody you see on YouTube, any book you read about strategies, don't take their results because it will be different for you based on your experience with the markets and what you personally see. Um, currently right now, as you see, I'm doing better with long positions. You may do better with short positions. So you need to test it out yourself and see what your results are going to be. You can go off of mine and say, okay, he clearly has a strategy that is working. So let me test it out myself and see how it resonates with me. Is it a strategy that I can personally trade and believe in? Because that's very important too. If you can't believe in your strategy, you're going to be always on edge thinking that it may not work out for you, taking profits early, moving stop losses, all this kind of stuff, because the psychology just won't be there. You just won't have the confidence in the strategy because you didn't test it yourself. All right, so very important to that you actually test it yourself. All right, so now 6 a.m. Um, okay, so we're making higher highs, higher lows currently. Okay, so that was a strong move down there. Um, See, we didn't cross that low, so I didn't want to get in yet. I mean, I could have probably taken a long position here, but I don't think based on the fact that we're in a downtrend that we're going to actually be moving higher just yet. If it was above these highs, I probably would have got into it. Um, okay, yeah, so I mean, it would have been an okay long position, but... Um, Okay, so all right, so we're making lower lows here, breaking this, right? We just broke these lows here. So I think we are starting to reverse. All right, cool. So we got a nice push down there, clear break of that structure. Now I'm going to set my Fibonacci um, right here at this high, this low here, and then this is my 618. So I'm gonna be looking for a move back up into that 618 right here. Stop loss for 12 pips, take profit. I'm gonna target around this zone again for 40 pips. And let's see what happens. All right, got stopped out. It is what it is. It literally took one candle, uh, well, two candles. 10 minutes, we were out of that trade. It is what it is. So record that. We took a short position, lost 12 pips. All right. Now, let's see. We didn't make new highs we got rejected again so i'm going to actually see a good level if i would have and you want to while you're back testing as well don't change your results but do look at 
things like this here. So had I taken this high rather than this most recent high, would the trade have actually played out? Well, in this case, it would have, right? I would have had my stop loss at 15 pips, target 45 pips, let's say. All right, so currently I'm out of this trade. I'm not gonna record this result, but I do want to know, had I used this full leg here as my Fibonacci range, would the trade have actually played out? All right, so we're, we got into the trade right here. We got entered, so we are currently in this position. And it's in profit. We're in, day's about to close now. So we're running into the Asian session now. Now let's just play it through, see what happens. It's taking a little bit longer than I expected. All right, cool. So as soon as London opened, we had this huge move down. We would have had our take profit taken while we were sleeping. So this one again, before I went to bed, I would have set an actual take profit at these lows, 45 pips, the area that I wanted to target. And while we were sleeping, we would have got a three to one risk reward for 45 pips. Had I actually put my soft or my Fibonacci range from this high to this high rather than this high to that low. All right. So we didn't actually take that trade. That was a loss. We recorded it for 12 pips stop loss. All right. So let's uh, play this forward a little bit more. Okay. It's 6 a.m. now. Um, After that long move down, I do suspect that it'll come up a little bit higher. Um, okay, not really seeing too much yet. Okay, so this, mm, we're still below this. So I'm not really feeling long positions. Normally, like if I was looking for a long position, I could have taken this low to this high. If we get a bearish candle for our next bar, yeah. So I could have taken that high right there, waited for this move into this. Uh, but I'm not personally looking for long positions right now. I'll wait till we get a nice move down. There we go. So we got a nice move down. Nice little double top here. Broke the low. All right. So we're starting to get bullish candles again. Let's take our Fibonacci right here and learn from our past experience. Don't take the most recent. Take this high. So that's why we're going to take this one. Short position right there. Uh, 12 and a half pip stop loss. And let's target this zone at 25 pips for a two to one. This was a level that I plotted from way back, a very significant level that we bounced off many, many, many times. All right. So currently trading at 11.15 and uh, we found a setup that looks decent. Let's see if we get triggered and we didn't. All right, cool. So that didn't actually trigger our entry. As you can see, the candle didn't make it up. So let's scratch that one. So no trade that day. Let's play it through.
I mean, now that I'm looking at it, I could have actually set my Fibonacci here, set my entry point right there, stop loss for 17 and a half pips, right? Take profit for 27 pips, let's say, at that level. So that we would have got entered in. We wouldn't have hit our stop loss. We would have actually had a winning trade there had I used this area right here. But um, as I said, the strategy calls for between six and 12. I mean, could have, if I was testing it and I wanted to actually go right from London open and look for a setup that's something that i could test next time um, but for this one we're going to stick to the rules of this one and say we didn't get a trade all right so now what do we do when we move lower still below these lows over here london sessions open and we broke strongly through that, okay? Like I said, that level was very significant in the past. So we're moving lower, moving lower. I'm going to look for, if we can get a nice run up and then a run down, I'll grab my leg coming down because I don't want to go long off this. Okay, so we're moving up, moving up. Boom. So now we broke this little trend here. All right, this is gonna be our leg that we're going, moving down with. There we go, created a low there. So grab our Fibonacci right there. Stop our um, position entry there. 15 pip stop loss. And let's target for now. Be two to one. All right, and this is going to be a loose one because clearly we don't have anything to our left for a long time, so we don't know where this is actually going to stop. All right, so we're going to play this forward, see if we can actually get entered into this position. And at this point, we haven't. It's running down still. And New York is about to close, so I'm gonna cancel that trade. All right, so that's two days in a row, no trade on Euro USD. All right, so had I left that, let's actually put that back on. I would have got entered in right there. And wouldn't have got stopped out quite yet. I'm very close. And this is ranging very, very badly right now. It's literally doing absolutely nothing. So I'd still be in this position had I left it open, but we closed it, canceled that entry and didn't take a trade this day. All right, so we're into the new uh, London session. We're gonna be starting to look for our setup. All right, um, we're gonna move down, move back up. Uh, we're in our 6 a.m. zone. And I do want it to break this. I, I actually do want it to break that. Um, but at this point, I don't know if it's actually going to. Okay, so we had to move higher. We broke these lows, but we're still below this. Um, 
we're going to look now for a, yeah, a nice move down just like that. Start printing some bullish candles. There we go. Take our Fibonacci right there. Draw our position. Try to enter right there. 15 pip stop. Let's go to two to one for now. So we got entered in. So clearly we are ranging very, very badly. Almost got stopped out of that. I mean, maybe if you have bad spread with, yeah, there we go. We got stopped out. All right. So clearly this strategy doesn't work very well when price is ranging. Uh, we missed two entries right here. And this one we got stopped out for. Um, had I been looking at this, what could I have done differently? Mm, the fact that we broke this low here and rejected straight back up, I could have possibly looked for a small long position right here. Right. We've been looking for a small long and two to one, right? We would have ended up taking profit there. All right. Anyway, uh, no entry or sorry. Wow. Why did I get rid of that? Okay. 15 pip stop loss. Okay. So, so far, um, we are up 35 pips here. Two losses so we're not really up much but we are still slightly profitable on these three trades okay we're into the london session so we're going to start looking for an entry here I know this wouldn't have entered us in. Refresh this chart. Okay, so we clearly have a move up. Let's set our entry position for another short position right here. 15 pip stop. Thirty pip take profit, and let's see if we get entered into this one. Nope. So it's clearly not giving us very many positions right now. Um, I could have probably got into this right here. Could have used this leg, and that actually would have been a really good one. Um, let me back this up quickly. So. Let's say I it's it's a very small leg here. However, it did break these lows. So that would have actually been a really good position to enter. Um, I didn't notice it. And that's why you need to trade this or you need to backtest this yourself. So then you can actually see, maybe you would have actually noticed this. Maybe you would have noticed that it broke these lows. We had a nice little strong move down. And you could have put your entry position there, very tight stop loss for seven pips. And then you could have targeted, you know, whatever, 20 pips, whatever you wanted to do, right? 
Um, that would have actually been a nice trade. It would have got entered right there and you would have had a profitable trade. Nice and quick, a um, couple hours trade, but uh, all the same, profitable all the same, right? Um, so anyway, I'm pretty sure because we're on the five minute time frame, it doesn't let you go back as far. Um, and I've already taken however many trades, 43 trades. So I'm pretty close to today's date, actually. I'm not, where am I? I'm February 4th. So I'm actually pretty close to today's date. We are February 7th, uh, close the markets on the 5th. So I'm going to end it right there and see, I'm going to add in some other pairs, um, and see if I get better results on, let's say the, uh, AUD USD, see if I get better results than the Euro USD. So currently, um, I think it was at 23 pips. Um, so average profitability per trade was at 23. Currently it's at 21 because we took an extra three trades here and, um, two of them were losses. One was a winner almost break even, slightly profitable. However, this calculation factors in how many lose, uh, losing trades you take. So your loss percentage compared to your average loss. So how many actual pips you lose and then compares that to your win rate and your average winning trade, how many pips you, you make on your average winning trade. So that calculation figures out what your average profitability Per trade is all right and still average drawdown 45 pips um, we didn't uh, take a string of losses again so currently this strategy very simple strategy looking at a retrace with a limit order um, based on the structure of the market and where it's playing out is a profitable strategy so far um, 40 trades or whatever we took so far uh, 43 trades. I mean, it's enough, but it's not enough to be confident with it. I suggest doing, you know, around a hundred trades, um, each pair. And then some pairs may be more profitable than others with this strategy. Some trend better than others. Um, you know, some have better retracements, some just take right off and you'll never get entered. Right. Once it breaks a level, it just takes right off and doesn't retrace back into your zone. So you won't get an entry and you'll be taking less trades on that pair. So you need to test out different pairs that you personally like trading that you want to be trading and uh, see the results on those specifically. All right. So um, if you want to know how I actually calculate this, um, I can do another quick video to show you all the different calculations and what I have set up in this spreadsheet. That way you can make your own. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that. I'll gladly make a video explaining that. However, this has been long enough already. Uh, we're probably looking at 20, 30 minutes on this video. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about this strategy and um, about backtesting in general, feel free to ask me. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, anyway, it's Sunday today. Hope you have a good trading week. Hope you trade green and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.